Hey, welcome back to another ESPN NFL 2K5 franchise mode featuring the fantasy draft at Jacksonville Jaguars season two. And we are about to go up against the Kansas City Chiefs who are actually going to the Super Bowl. So congratulations to all the Chiefs fans and also to all the Buccaneer fans and Tom Brady fans. And with all that being said, uh, we are currently 9-4, and four, week 15 out of 17. We should be wrapping up a season two very shortly. So the postseason is hopefully uh, something to look forward to and to plan for in the offseason. So like I've said before, let's start thinking about free agency and recruiting, um, as well as do you guys even want a season three? Let me know in the comments below. Uh, so I'm excited about what we can do to finish this season off strong and on the right note. I know we had some rough patches throughout and especially at the beginning, but I feel like we've caught a really good vibe here recently and we're 11th in the power rankings. So we're really, really good. No, we're not uh, that good, but we are, uh, I like kind of where we are. We're kind of, we're going to be kind of sneaky throughout the playoffs and uh, hopefully we just finish strong, no injuries and everything goes well. So thank you for your support and the YouTube video that you clicked on and are witnessing right now is the Jacksonville Jaguars versus the Kansas City Chiefs. Let's go. Hi there. I'm Chris Berman. Up next on ESPN, as the song goes, the weather outside is frightful. Not snow, but the rain coming down in buckets out of the stadium. We'll see how much this affects both teams passing games. My guess, a lot. Chiefs, Jaguars. While the teams are out on the field getting loose, the fans are filing in and finding their seats for the game. Welcome to All Hotel Stadium. I'm Dan Steven. With me, my colleague, Peter O'Keefe. Peter, this game features a big time matchup between an elite wide receiver and a defensive back who's one of the best in the league. That's right, Dan, and you've got to figure they'll be seeing a lot of one another today. Troy Brown, he's a very gifted receiver. He has great hands, and that reliability makes him a favorite target in this offense. On the other side of the ball, we've got another top performer, Champ Bailey. He's a highly competent cornerback. What I love about this guy is his agility. He can stay with a receiver to knock down a pass or make an open field tackle. It should be one heck of a matchup. It'll be interesting to see who gets the upper hand. Okay, Peter, we'll see how they do once the game begins, but first, the toss of the coin. I choose tail. It's heads. Well, who would have thought? It's raining in Jacksonville, Florida. So we're about to take on the Chiefs for the first time in this season, and I'm hoping that we have a good game. Let's just get into it. Let's go. Jeffrey kicking off. The There's Chiefs. the signal, and we're it's ready. Time for Reed kicks it off to begin the game. Go ahead and kneel it. There we go, Bell. Just play it safe. Okay, so here we are. Let's see what we can do. How do we want to start off this game? So here we are with the rollout. Let's see how this rain in our offense is going to handle. Okay, okay. Wow. I thought I could squeeze it right in between all those chief players, and that was just a little risky. That was a little too risky. Let's, uh, let's look around. Let's, uh, you know, let's do weak ISO. Let's do weak ISO. They're in the box here, so maybe we can bust out here. Oh, nope, not anymore, but get some blocks. Or we'll just get that one yard. That's fine. Okay, let's see. Let's do our 58 cross play. Let's see if we can get Fitterin. If not, we might have to just run it. Okay. Oh, wow. He juggled it. Oh, it must be the rain. I'm going to say it's the rain. Let's go ahead and punt it. So, unfortunately, we don't come out here and get something going on offense. We're going to have to figure out what we can do in the running game. Let's see what we can do with the punt first. So defense has been doing pretty good. Let's just get out there and do what we got to do. Brown fields the punt at the 
There you go, Wolf. There you go. Right. Good special teams right there. We're going to have to watch out for this guy. 13th year? Holy moly. Marshall. Okay, I didn't know that. All right, here we go. So we're going to do the offset. Let's see how that works. Moving everybody up. They're doing some motion. Oh, wow. Who would have thought? Troy Brown catches it right there. I really thought we had it. I thought we had a player that was right in position to make something happen there, but... Right here. Yeah, right there. Mm. All right, two men. All right, we got the eye formation. We'll pinch it in. We'll pinch it in. First and ten. All right, motion. Do another motion. Oh, McCree, that's you. That's all you, man. All you gotta do is just say, "It's my ball. I'm taking it now." And what are they gonna do about it? So, good deflection. Let's keep it in, man. We're gonna do the uh, offset like I did last time. See how well that works. Oh, nasty. I feel like the rain is going to have a severe effect on the passing game. Um, just at just at the uh, rate of drop passes and messy throws here. Right, we're going to spread out. Third and ten. It's definitely got to be a pass, right? Nice, nice, nice. 27. Is that full? Good job. So three and out. Let's go ahead and get the ball back. Mullins, our rookie wide receiver, back there for the punt return. Ooh, what can we do? What should we do? I can't see. I can't see. Oh, nice, nice, nice. He was making some moves. Got to be a little careful, though, because that rain is going to make things a little tricky. So I see. I'm going to do a weak ISO. I know they're moving up. Good run there by Barlow. A strong toss. I, I really want to get the running game going here early, especially with this rain. Ooh. Only got a yard out of that? All right, see, they're playing that pass, man. It's really hard for me to trust that play. So I might dump it down to Alvarado, but we'll see. Oh, and it, I think that was the right call, but for some reason he has to twist and turn around. We need to get we need to get the scrambling going. There we go. Good punt, Logan. Hopefully we got some guys right there. There we go. So stop him at the midfield. Still didn't get anything going on the offense. I'm not too worried about it. I feel like we just got to open some things up with the, the running game. Scrambling. Let's get back out here, though. Hey, McCree, that's what I'm expecting from you, my guy. Oh, great. Come on, get up, get up, get up. You're going to be all right, Julius Peppers. Ouch. That's a big hit. That's a big hit. All right, I'm going to go to Weaver now. Because you know I, got, I, I usually play as our guy, Julius Peppers. Great. That's a big play. Big play. So we'll have to look out for their tight end as well, but still, wow. Well, not too bad. Oh, Jake here. He had enough time in the day to do whatever he wanted. So I think the winner of this game is going to be the, the team that can get their offense going, especially with this weather. Let's see. Okay. What's the flag on? Holding? Yeah, I'll take that. First and 20. Bring it back. Right, let's go, let's go. I hope you guys are doing good. Thank you for supporting the videos. Just wanted to throw that out there. There we go. No run. It doesn't look like they want to do the run. 
Erlacher. He's in on that. Oh, I should have had that. Hey. He's on target for a gain of five. See that? I I accidentally switched over to McCree and I'm like, oh no, I'm gonna mess this up. Alright, so they're gonna go for the field goal here. I guess that's good. Hopefully Julius Peppers comes back. 43 yards, they might miss it, but with the wind in that angle, they might get this. Wow. We are lucking out lately on these field goals. Am I right? It feels like the opponents that we've been facing are just not making these kicks. No good. He would have had it if he had angled it definitely. All right, well let's do let's do our team a favor and get something going here on offense. And we'll take that two yards, I guess. And then we'll do strong power. We're gonna have to go to the passing game at some point. So Julius Peppers is having back spasms, so it might be doubtful for him to come back. Look at that, look at that. I know it. Julius Peppers is going to come back, but... Santana Moss. Probably not this game, but look at Santana Moss here. I mean, he's become so reliable, guys. He's definitely my favorite player of this year, um, offensively. Can't, can't say it enough. He's come in the clutch, and he's given me the ability to ease up on the pressure of Mullins. Oh, I could have gone. If I didn't do all the... Moving around, swinging around, that would have been that would have been a touchdown easily. Look at that. I gotta keep working on our sprinting. We're actually gonna do a pass here. I'm gonna look for triangle, which is Mullins. There, slide. There you go. There you go, Vic. Had to get a first down. It was open. It was there doing a little late night recording here too so if I seem a little bit more relaxed that's why <laughs> there you go good job Vic there we go let's see let's see this is a dangerous play because I feel like he should be open but we're gonna have to thread it I think I'm gonna go the weak ISO actually we're gonna have to change it up to the run let's see I think it's there guys I think we can get Barlow some good yardage in this game. But we're knocking at the door, and it's the end of the first. Zero to zero. Let's go. So he's already got 31 yards. Nice to see him have a breakout game soon. See, like, I wish he could break those kind of tackles, but it doesn't seem like that happens very often. Let me do something here. We're going to throw to Alvarado here. If he's not open, we're going to pass it down to McMichael. No, he wasn't open. We're going to go for the field goal here. That was just a bad. I kind of for I forced that to Alvarado. Let's see. Did I get it. And we do. Three points. Hey, I'll take it. Anything's better than nothing. Nine plays, 59 yards. Let's go. Good kick. Especially in the rain. Stop them at the 23. That's good. Yeah, we're gonna keep doing the offset. Let me see what Scott has over here. Okay, not too bad. Let's see, we're gonna bring a blitz there to the left side. There we go. Look at that! Look at that! 
kind of off balance the way we line up to them. This guy's getting tired already. Come on, Scott. This is your moment, dude. Nice right, spread out. Let's see what we can do. Oh, dude, you're such a beast. I was like, come on, get up and run, dude. Good interception there, 27. Our corners are stepping it up, man. Look at that. Three interceptions this year. One defensive touchdown. Look at this. He's, he, he's taking it back to the house. Good interception right there. Love it. All right, we're going to roll it out. They're, they're definitely following all of our key players here. Bro, Alvarado. My guy. I feel like he would have been wide open right there. Make that completion and would have had some room on the outside had he made it. That one falls incomplete. Not much there. Yeah, we'll be strong outside zone here. We got to make something off of these opportunities once we get these turnovers. Damn, we ran right into two guys. Right. Um. See what we can do. We might be able to get Santana here. There you go. There you go. Play safe. <laughs> I did not mean to dive with him there. It's all good though. Three guys covering him, but look what happens. There There's just like an opening there in the middle. I love it. There we go. That was a good call. There you go. Good job. Way to. Take it for a, oh, oh, never mind. It wasn't a first down. Almost a first down. But hey, I like it. I like it. Let's see if we can get Henderson. It's a play action. That's it. Nice. What a nice play right there. Good throw there, Vic. Henderson reaching down low to catch it. I like it. I like Henderson. He's a good tight end. Look at that. Right there. Perfect. Go ahead and kick this PAT. Well, that's what I wanted to see, especially off of the interception. Where's that wind blown? Right here. Should be good. Nice. So we go up 10 nothing early in this one, second quarter. Another good max kick. Okay, okay. See, he's going to take it out. There we go. Stop him before the 20. That's perfect. Okay, so we're going to do something like this. So move the linebackers over to the right. D line to the left. Oh, that kind of opens it up. Hmm. I guess we'll pinch in. I'll leave everybody get the outsides. Uh oh, uh oh. Brown goes in motion. Got blitz coming too. Nowhere. I guess he was trying to throw it to 81. 37 though. I gotta do a better job of showing you guys the defensive play calling, just to kind of see if you think that that call matches up with what the offense is doing. How I should improve with audibles. Let's see. So right here we're doing. Good old man blitz here, third and seven. Oh, man. Ah. Oh, they got that. I guess he got it over Champ Bailey, too. He threw it real quick. I mean, that was smart. Champ, Champ Bailey kind of took himself out of the play. Right, we're going to do the offset. Try to get around 60 here. There you go, James. No, oh, with James rookie. Glad he's back and healthy. Second place. Damn, 65. This man always getting tired. All right, so we got a blitz coming in off of the right. I slide the line to the left. Let's see what happens. We're in a motion here. Doesn't really matter. We're playing zone, but. 
Oh, three people, three Jaguars almost had that interception. And I was kind of worried. He was left uncovered. And I just was like, oh, this is not going to work out well. Oh, wow. Save the touchdown. Good job, 2-8. Hey, we can't give up those big plays on the left side. Why Why are we doing that all of a sudden? Check it out. Ah, Man, champ. You to either got to make the play or you're going to take yourself out of the play. Bring everybody up. They're knocking. Oh, man, I was hoping we could get there, and it just got clogged up. I sent a blitz. This was left open. Champ Bailey. Nice throw and nice catch. Come on, my guy. Come on, buddy. <laughs> you're uh, kind of slipping out here in the rain. Can't have that, man. You're a leader on this defense. All right, so they make it a game. We're only up by three. We got two and a half minutes until the halftime, so... What are we going to do with it? What are we going to do with it? Alright. see what Bell can do first. This is, as long as we get to the 20, I'm not too mad at it. So we got time. I'm not really going to stress. I'm just going to really try to make some good play calling. We'll start this drive at their own. 21 yard line. That's okay. okay. There you go. Scramble it. Get the first down. Go out of bounds. Stop the clock. I, I, it was originally a run. I did the uh, audible, and I just didn't like what I saw. I didn't want to force anything. I'm trying to cut down on these interceptions. All right, perfect. So even though 45 Alvarado doesn't really pick up huge plays uh, or a lot of yards on these plays, it's still taking off some of the uh, wear and tear off of Barlow. So that's kind of what I'm looking to do with that. Oh, uh, Barlow, man. If you could just shed it away, dude. Two minute warning. Um... Third down, six so, yards to go. Don't know how I like if I like this. Maybe something different. Hey, I was actually gonna throw it, but I don't know. They just started backing away, I started playing deep, and I just didn't want to throw it just to throw it. Let's go ahead and get the guaranteed first. If it was open there. Still got a lot of time left here. Let's go ahead and see what we can do. There we go. Nice. It's about the angles in the running game I've noticed. Like, when I see how close I run, he, those defensive players kind of get caught up on each other. When I try to bounce it out too wide, that's when I get screwed over. To put it lightly. So this might not work. He's got 55 yards on 10 carries. Oh, look at those numbers. That's how to get it done on the ground. See, just kind of following my blocks. And that wasn't a super impressive run, obviously, but still. I think you guys get the point. So right here might it depends on how well we block. Look at that, look at that. I'm gonna call the timeout. But look at that. Look at the difference here. Following our blocks, able to kind of just run in a straight uh, motion, not get caught up and try to, you know, wiggle around. Let's see if we can do it with the, everybody we run with. Look, even then, it's like you're getting forward uh, progress. You're getting uh, momentum. You see the pass here, Dan. I have no doubt it's going to be the go to man. Marlo has his number called on second down and maybe picks uh, up one on the play. Let's do this. 
I think this is a play action. Look, they're not even looking at five. They're not even looking at five. We might get sacked, though. Uh, I almost threw it. I almost threw it. But let's just go ahead and get the guaranteed. There we go. Good job, Vic. <laughs> trying to reduce the interception. Trying to reduce the free hits on Vic. And trying to make, you know, smart choices. Like, don't force it. Don't force it. We could have probably could have dumped it off to five right there. But you know how running and throwing goes. Yeah, it's a little hit or miss. So let's go ahead and get this right before halftime. Plus, we got to kick off. So let's hope that we don't give up anything big here. But offensively, I feel like as long as we cut down on the turnovers, make smarter play calls, we're going to be all right. No matter the weather, who we're playing, where we're playing, we'll be all right. Hmm, not a great kick, though. Fields the kickoff at the six. Still stopped him around the 20, 23. Oh, you bet. Well, the turnover column is this field goal interception touchdown. Yeah. Been a pretty solid, uh, been a pretty solid first half of our defense, except for Julius Peppers being up, but I don't think his injury is serious. There you go, Erlacher. Get in there. I don't think they're going to force it. Second down, three wide outs in the game. I'm gonna back everybody up just for these big plays. Oh. What a say? What a say? Come on, McCree. Hey, it's halftime, though. We're up 17 7. I feel pretty good. I'll talk to you guys after halftime. What a play! A massive pickup. That's and an obvious first quarter. down, Peter. They weren't thinking first down as much as they were thinking touchdown on that baby. And that'll do it for the first half of this one. The Jaguars enjoying the lead 17 to 7. And now let's send you to Chris Berman in our studios in Bristol for the ESPN Halftime Report. Boomer? game at the half. We'll get back to you guys in a bit. First, we welcome everybody to our ESPN Halftime Report. I'm Chris Berman. A look at our halftime stats here, and boy, look at the difference in passing yards. The Chiefs look great on the stat sheet, but they're behind on the field. They might have to change their approach. Let's get started in this one early in the first quarter. Troy Brown had to work to find an opening, but he was able to haul this one in. The Chiefs midway through the first, the ball at their own 47-yard line. Jake DeLome would find his target on this one. The Jags towards the end of the first quarter. Michael Vick get up ahead of steam, and then it was clear sailing from there. They get the first score and go up by three. The Chiefs later in the second, Will Poole would come up with the big play to kill a drive as he was able to step in front of a wayward pass for an INT. Chiefs trailing three to nothing. Michael Vick needed to be on target here, and he was. A nine-yard touchdown for the Jaguars. The Jaguars move ahead by 10. The Chiefs' middle of the second, Darius Watts, emerged as a real weapon as he pulled one in here. A 53-yard play that set up a Chief touchdown. The Jags late into the second quarter. Jags leading by three. Kevin Barlow on the carry here as they work the ground game. This is a nice run. They move ahead by 10. The Chiefs late in the second quarter. Jake DeLome is back to throw. And look at the finesse he puts on this one. Nice. And that's where we'll leave this one. Jags are up at the half, 17 to 7. It's time now for our Halftime Hero Award, which recognizes the most dominant player of the first half. Duh. This time, there can be no question. Michael Vick has played outstanding. So that'll do it from here. Let's send you back out now to Dan Stevens and Peter O'Keefe. Dan? Thanks, Chris. And today's game has been presented in ESPN Game Sound, designed and developed in collaboration with Dolby, the leader in surround sound technology. So the rain continues to pour. Hopefully we can continue to pour on the points. But before we do that, we got to play defense. So let's go ahead and kick it off and uh, have a good second half. Let's get down to the field. Brown kicking off for the Jaguar. The ref gets the signal, and we're set. Brown kicks it, and the second half has now started. 
Lott fields the second half kick off at the 10. Ooh, to the 32, not a good kick. Susie Culver is down so, on the field and has some information. It is what it is. Thank you, Dan. Head coach Jack Del Rio. Why, why are they looking at Luke over there? Number 10. <laughs> Anyways, let's get out here on defense and see what they do to adjust to their first half. Maybe they run a little bit more. Come on, Bailey. I need you to have a better second half. Back to you. So how many of you guys are Chief fans? Let me know in the comments section below. I'd like to hear what you guys think about the Super Bowl coming up. And how many of you guys are Buccaneer fans? Oh, thank you, somebody. Weaver, thank you for that sack, 98. Thank you. Let's go. Weaver just has to have uh, a good game. He needs to step up here with uh, Julius Peppers being out for the game. That will bring up second down. All right, all right. 37. Can we set up our players in a better position? Uh, he just stood there, but it works. <laughs> he just stood there, but it works. So. Three and out. There we go. Back to Mullins here. Punt returning. Fourth and seven. That's nice. All right, let's go. Ooh, that's a little dangerous with the rain. I got to consider that because I don't want him to just get hit for, you know, hit for free. So his offense gets pretty good field position anyway. The Jaguars come out on mm. offense and are well ahead. They have yet another shot to score and start this drive at their own. There you go. There you go. Nice little slide there in the rain. Go ahead and get those pants wet. Muddy. Uh, if you guys ever played any kind of sport in the rain, it is an experience. <laughs> All right. Let's see. We got Santana. Ooh, let's see. What are they doing? Oh, wasn't even paying attention to that guy. Dock it. What happened there? He got over 74. Ah, do not want him to get hit. The defensive design worked flawlessly, and the refs will spot the ball well plan. behind the original line of scrimmage. What a way to strong to power. From the See, they're kind of they're looking for the outside runs now. Okay, I'm doing a weak draw. Can't get anything. Well, draws really work. I think draws are kind of the myth. <laughs> They're not real. Anyways, let's see if we can get Mullins or Santana Moss to get us a first down. Big play. There you go. There you go, Mullins. Way to catch it in the rain. Good throw by Vic. I dig it. I dig it. Makes the play, nice, but not nice. in time. Man, the play actions are so smooth. Let's go. Let's go. Let's see. Weak power. Yeah, we might be able to still get something. He's moving up, but still. There you go. Look at that. Look at Barlow having himself a game today. You know, that good balance of 22 out here running it opens up the PA. It opens up the passing game. Ooh, look at that. It kind of, like, faked them out. Let's keep it going. There you go. There we go. Good job, Musk. Still trying to improve on the yak. Yards after catch, but I mean, that that play almost is automatic regardless. So I'll take it for what it is. See, now they're looking for the outside. I'm gonna do a strong out here. I'll take that. I'll take that. And it gives us the ability to uh, bounce out there to the outside. Right. Maybe Henderson. Maybe there's a blitz coming. There's a blitz. Marlo, 
Hey, good move there by Barlow after the catch. He's able to shake and get the first and goal. Tanya Barlow comes in the clutch here as we close out the season, and especially by the time we are in the playoffs, we'll be happy. We'll be happy, man. I'm a simple man. I just want a good running back, all right? That's all I want. I don't, I don't ask for a lot here. Look at that. Look at that. This man having him a game. Good job, 22. I mean, we are at our best when we have a good balanced attack. This is a nice run here. And when you watch the replay down, check out his field vision. The great job of finding space. Either that will put a touchdown. And get the field goal. We'll go out 24 to 7. Nice to have so far, he's got 111 yards and one touchdown. There we go. Max. Max. And it's down the middle. 24-7. Good stuff here by Barlow in our offensive line. Nine plays, 79 yards. Let's get another good kick. Not too bad, not too bad. Fields it all the way back at the three. We go pool. Darius Watts got waylaid by the defense before he was able to put much right, on the run back. Okay, let's do this. Let's do it. All right, 53 and 22 talking on the sidelines. Let's see if our defense can come out here. I'm not mad at Scott. I feel like he gets tired a lot, but uh, let's see. Oh, too late. He's throwing it to you. Had your name on it. We're going to do some man, though, because I feel like we're leaving a lot of guys uncovered. And thankfully, 17's not finding them. Look at that. Bailey's just kind of dragging today. He's always there. Oh, no. That's a big, big injury for the uh, Chiefs here. Troy Brown, their number one wide receiver going down. Looks like an arm injury too, so oof, that's gonna that's gonna shake up. Yeah, they got out here now. Reed. They got work done. I don't see him doing anything though. Maybe we do now. Maybe we do now. Look at that. Good run. I mean we weren't expecting the run there. Ooh. So we might see that a lot more here. First down, one man Good ball where 44 tackles. It says I say that. Maybe 85 steps up. Keep it, keep it the way it is. Actually, pinch it in. Pinch it in. Second and three. There we go. Look, I'm going to tell you something. Erlacher. He's a heat seeking missile when it comes to that run game. The man's got a few interceptions this season too, but I'm, I'm telling you, I love I love the determination. Oh, 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 oh. 2 8. Thank you. Thank you. Good job, defense. Here we go. Here we go. Go ahead and get this ball back. And uh, since we're close to the end of the third, we'll probably uh, check our play calling out the door here. Yeah, we're going to play it safe here. Um, let's see. The, I mean, thank, thankfully, the running game is working so far. Um, I'm sure they're going to kind of key in on it now, but, uh, you know, like right there. Okay. Still got two yards, man. Still got two yards. That's going to... Let's bring his totals up. So let's see what this left outside linebacker does. Oh, bad play. I just kind of messed it all up. Kind of just messed it all up is like the best way I can put that. Oh, yeah. He went right through the O-line and got to his man. Great effort. That'll be his first sack of the game. Let's do our 58 cross. <laughs> oh, we got Luke. He's a little fast, so maybe we can pop it, pop it. 
Look at that. Look at that. Perfect timing. We're able to get the first down. Just kind of hold ourselves in the pocket there. No point of running around. And that's it. Fourth quarter, guys. We're up. Got a solid uh, lead right now. All right, all right. So, two weak toss. They are, uh, they're kind of hanging out there in the box. Look at that. So this man has got 19 carries, 105 yards. Good for him. See, they spread out there. So we're gonna do the strong ISO. Try to kill the clock here. Oh no, oh no, no, Barlow! That fumble in the rain, man. Fumble in the rain. What happened here, man? He would have yeah, held he, he would have been fine. That wasn't even a big of a hit, man. Okay. Well, that's unfortunate, but we'll just move we'll move on. Thank God it's not that close of a game at the moment. Good job, Will Fork. All right. What are they doing here? Okay, there's a 36. I think we might be able to hold him here. Do not like cover 12. Ooh, I don't know if I like this either. There we go. There we go. We're going to hold him to a field goal. So unfortunately, we, we cough up the ball there. First turnover of the game. Yeah. And they're actually going to get this one. So it's going to be 24-10. Jeff Reed sends it but it could have been worse. Post for a field goal. Now, do they do an onside kick here? The they pipe. do. Jeff Reed, we can pick this up. This, uh, up this could turn into another game here. <laughs> Reed bounces it up. Oh, thank God for Mullins. Thank God for number five. His hands are getting better, I gotta say. Alright. I ain't mad at you, Barlow. Not a good play there. Okay, see, see how their outside linebackers are out? They know it's a run. Oof. I'm going to do this weak ISO. Still able to get a couple yards here. Uh, yeah, we could do this because we're actually on the left side of the field. Maybe. Oh, oh! Wow, really? It just got tipped and, and 31 was able to catch it there. Dang, we're starting to make some reckless turnovers here. But that really I mean, I feel like it's just bad luck. Look at that. Oh, it's all about because he would have had that. Defense, Mullins would have been good. As a team. Boy, that was so a heads some play some unfortunate events have game. happened, but deal. hopefully we don't let it the turn into anything unmanageable. Oh, great! We don't need that. They're gonna be throwing it though. They're gonna be throwing it. First down and four in the game. Look at that, Lance Briggs, everybody. Dunn didn't really have anything to do this game. Hopefully it stays that way. 24 to 10. Ah, oh, come on now. Champ Bailey. Why? Mm. Mm. Okay. There we go. Erlacher in there with the sack. Second down, both wide outs to the right. Ball at the 24 yard line. Oh, actually. Here we go. Disrupt it. Good job, guys. Third and 14. Incomplete. Um, I really like middle blast three robber. I really do. And this guy, oh my goodness, Brian Erlacher. He's rounding into maybe 
the best linebacker in the entire National Football League. Yeah, they're going to get the field goal, but could have been a lot worse. Oh, they're going to go for it. Mm. Yeah, this is the move. This is the move. Come on, defense. Oh, wow. Really? What a terrible play call. Why are you going to run it there? Erlacher, defensive player of the game, I'll tell you that, though. All right. Here we go. It's fourth, so that means they'll turn so, the ball over on We're on the 17. Look at that. Good job. Good job there with that run. Let's see. They, they line up outside. We're going to do strong ISO now. They don't, and we'll turn it over. There you go. Got the first down. I don't know. It didn't seem like he had a lot of gas there. <laughs> he just kind of easily ran into the uh first down let's see they're they're boxed up we should be able to get something on this outside oh i could have done something a lot more with that it just kind of ran into our guys had blockers on his side on that last play but the defense was too smart let's see henderson this is you bro for more second down two tight ends in the game there you go slide two minute warning about to come up we get the first down off of a big scramble nice he almost gets hit right here he gets some yards peter it doesn't even seem fair when your quarterback can run like he can that's what makes two minute warning so dangerous good coverage good pressure but still no one could corral it First down, the clock is we're just going to keep running it. I mean, we're up by two scores. Oof. We're going to do that. Hopefully, I can bust in right here. Ah. The Chiefs like, their first time up. We got three yards there. They're going to start calling their timeouts here, though. So that's good. If we just kind of keep it going, hopefully 22 can get a big run here. Yeah, one second. more, one more. Hmm. I know they say weak outside zone, but I feel like we got to go with something that's going to have a little bit more when it comes to the blocking. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So they call their final timeout. And I'm going to do a QB sneak with Vic. Hopefully that, this should end the game here. Okay. And he gets up. Everything's good. We're good here. Uh, we are going to do some strong ISO. So. There we go. Three yards. We're going to 34 yards. You know what? Actually, we got a lot to lose. I'm not going to risk any injuries, any fumbles, or anything like that. We're going to just. Let the clock wind down here to close out the fourth quarter. So I think overall we had a pretty good game here. 24-10 at home in the rain. Except for some of those sloppy uh, turnovers. I think like those were just not our fault. <laughs> like The interception was just a good play by the defense. And the fumble... Uh, I'd like to contribute it to the rain. You know, I know uh, 22 has coughed it up in the past, but he's really good about holding on to the football. So I probably have to kneel it one more time. I'm going to walk away with a win. I like how they have Santana Moss back here. I'm like, ooh, let's make 83 our running back. All right. That should do it. Should do it right there. We're gonna let it run out, guys. That's a victory. And that is going there to go two in a row. The Jaguars come out on top. Twenty-four. Hey, to twenty-four 10. to ten, guys. Another win, another game. I'll talk to you guys after the post-game show.
right, Dan, thank you. So this one is in the books as we welcome you all to our ESPN Video Games Post Game Show. I'm Chris Berman. The Jaguars stepped it up for sure, putting up some good numbers. We'll pick up the action midway through the third quarter. Kevin Barlow got the carry here, and he was able to break through. A three-yard touchdown for the Jaguars. The Jaguars move ahead big and now lead by 17. Ball at their own 33. Kenichi Udeze is going to come up with the big play here. Whoop! The ball's loose. Scramble. He's there to grab it. The Chiefs, after recovering a fumble, Chiefs trailing by 17. Jeff Reed sets up the field goal attempt from just about the parking lot. Got a lot of leg, though. He's got it. They finally get on the board, and they are now down by 14. The Jags on D. Chad Scott is reading the quarterback's eyes all the way as he's able to get his hands on this one and pick it off. Jags leading 24 to 10. Jake DeLome connected with his man on this one. The Jags back at it after their D made a stop in the red zone. Michael Vick find an opening here and he was off. And that's where we'll leave this one. Jags come away with a win, 24 to 10. Now let's catch up with the player who really ignited his team's offense with his depth passing and has earned our Player of the Game award. Michael Vick was kind enough to give us a moment of his time and he's on the field with Susie Calvert. Susie? Thank you, Chris. You really hustled today. And you were instrumental in helping your team snag the win. What was the key to your success? You gotta be honest, you know, we just came together as a team real well today. My teammates all helped me out a lot, and uh, I'm playing with a great cast of characters alongside me. I'm just happy to get the W, and now we've got to move on and look ahead. Chris, back to you. Thanks for watching the NFL on ESPN, the worldwide leader in sports. I'm Chris Berman. We'll see you next time. 10 that's right 10 wins we have in season two which is an incredible achievement um i'm glad that we've been able to bounce back from any loss and losing streak that we've had so far and i really hope that we finish the season strong because this is a good team that we have here and i have uh i've just enjoyed uh playing this game and playing with this team when things click it's it's great it's such a good time uh, even in the losses, you just feel like, oh, man, if I would have done this or that. But uh, Barlow had himself a good game. We really need the running game as we enter the playoffs. So I don't want to be one-dimensional, and I don't want Vic to carry that load when it comes to the run game and scrambling. We don't want him hurt. <laughs> we don't want him getting any kind of uh, free hits. And uh, if if every player, not just Vic... Um, both the offense and defense can go into the playoffs with no injuries. I'm I, I'm good. I'm game for that. So uh, just a good win in the rain. We had a couple turnovers there, but I've, like I've said, I didn't think that, that those were really anything that I caused inherently um, or even our players' faults. It was just uh, good plays by the weather and uh, the Kansas City Chiefs defense. So 24 to 10 is the final score. We moved to 10 and 4. Uh, who do we play next? We go back and we play the Texans again. That should be interesting. And then who else? Let's just look at what we got for the rest of the season. We got the San Diego Chargers. And oh, that's it. We got two games left, guys. So, um, wow. I'm, uh, this is the longest series I've done in general. And uh, the longest uh, recorded series I've done for like a dynasty on ESPN NFL 2K5. Let alone any kind of football game like NCAA. A uh, few little quick announcements. Uh, we are streaming on Twitch. Just wanted to keep throwing that out there. Uh, so when I'm not recording, making videos here for the YouTube channel, I'm over there streaming, playing a variety of games. And I'm just being a little bit more, um, um, I guess, like precise and choosy about what, what series I want to do here on the YouTube channel. So let me know what kind of games you want to see. Uh, even outside of sports, because I feel like it's healthy to switch it up every now and then. I don't want to reach any kind of burnout. And uh, so I think that's why streaming kind of helps me, sh you know, shift the gears a little bit. Uh, so, you know, check us out or check me out, I guess, on uh, uh, on Twitch at twitch.tv slash Wondersoul. I would love to have you there and we can just kick it and chat. Uh, what else do we got going on? Oh, yeah. I don't know if you guys saw the video here on the YouTube channel. I just recently... After a month of searching for the right one and just all this other stuff, got an Xbox 360. 
So that opens up a lot of other content, a lot of other games that I wanted to uh, experiment with, like College Troops 2K8. Um, what else? All Pro Football 2K8. Uh, the NCAA's. Uh, the Madden. The Madden's are hit or miss. I actually picked up one Madden 09 and NCAA 09 at a local retro store. I'm going to keep looking for some more. But let me know your guys' uh, suggestions in the comment uh, section below. I would like to. Uh, I would like to know. I'll be on the lookout, and we'll we'll start some series here on the YouTube channel, and also do some streaming over on Twitch. So uh, that's fun. I, I, I've kind of reached a weird point uh, with video games, where I think I, I'm kind of into the PC realm. I'm even looking at uh, investing in like a VR headset. <laughs> that it's exciting, and um, but when it comes to console gaming, I've I've kind of gone in reverse. I like uh, playing these retro titles like 360 playstation 2 nintendo gamecube Game Boy advance and i'm trying to collect those for myself as well i want to pass those down um so yeah what's your favorite retro console let me know in the comments Hey, uh, yeah, you do what you want you guys uh i just thank you so much for all of your support uh um, let's finish this season strong two more two more games and then the playoffs guys we're definitely in the playoffs uh at the next video i'll show you guys the playoff standings and all that um but till then, stay tuned. You might find out in Sports Center the best part of these videos. You guys don't come here to watch the games or for the commentary or any of that. You don't care. You want to watch Sports Center, right? So that's what you're about to get, guys. Take care. Do good. Stay safe. Stay healthy. And uh, I'll see you guys when we face the Texans again. Uh, so here's Sports Center. Bye -bye. I don't know. Hi there, I'm Chris Berman. We got a lot of games to cover, so let's get to it. In our first game this week, we had the Bills edge their way to a narrow three-point win. In a long-standing NFC rivalry, we had the Giants win their fourth game of the year. The Bengals lost this one, but will stay at number two in the AFC North. Todd Pinkston had a stellar game, but all said and done, his performance wasn't enough to lift his team to a victory. Chad Pennington took to the air for over 300 yards and helped his Texans beat the Colts. In the Mile High City of Denver, we had the Broncos lose by a 12-point margin. Steelers, Jets. Kerry Collins is a threat, even though the ball's still at the 23-yard line. Split to the left a little bit in the backfield. Now goes deep to the end zone. Pass underthrown, but it's a touchdown. The Jets go on to win this by the final score of 21 to 17. We had an interesting free agency pickup of note here. Trey's got the lowdown for us. Trey? All right, Chris. Let's switch gears and talk about players that'll have new homes in the National Football League. As free agency continues to play such a huge role in determining a team's makeup. Moore is going to find himself with a new club, and he'll be in a new tax bracket, too four years, $2.0 million. Chris Lazar will also have a new address for a while as he signs a four-year contract with the Bengals. Down in New Orleans, we had the Saints get sent away with a seven-point loss. The Cardinals got 300-plus yards from their offense in their victory at the Edward Jones Dome. The Dolphins lost at home and will have to hit the road to meet the Browns. Ravens lost this one, but will stay at number one in the AFC North. Seahawks, 49ers. Steven Jackson is just thinking, let's get out of the shadow of our own goal line. There's a first down. What shadows? The only shadows are the defenders behind him. He could go all the way. A 98-yard run. The 49ers win this one by the final score of 13 to 10. We had a big injury in this one, and Trey has the lowdown for us. Trey? All right, Boomer, thanks. In front of you, we've got the AFC Infirmary Report. And as you can see, they were hit hard this week. Larry Fitzgerald won't see action for a while, so this offense is going to have to make do without him. It's a broken arm, and the doctors are saying he'll be out for the rest of the season. In front of you, we've got the NFC list. And as you can see, they could form their own mash unit. Ricky Williams won't see action for a while, so this offense is going to have to make do without him. He's suffering from a stress fracture in his foot, and he'll be out for the rest of the regular season. 
Now the big story of the day. Derek Mason is going to be watching from the sidelines for a while as his injury will deal a major blow to this team. So that'll do it for now. Chris, let's send it back to you. Darius Watt had a stellar game, but all said and done, his performance wasn't enough to lift his team to a victory. Jake the Snake Plumber went to the end zone four times and helped his Eagles beat the Raiders. Down in Dallas in the Lone Star State, we had the Cowboys come away with a decisive 10-point win. And in our final game, we had the Packers come away victorious. All right, Boomer, thanks. Just two weeks to go until the playoffs arrive, and just as we do every year, we're looking at a number of interesting races as teams jockey for position. We'll start it out in the AFC. And now, checking things out over in the NFC playoff race. So that's how we stand to this point. Still lots of jockeying left to go as we get this thing sorted out for January. So that'll do it from here. Boomer, we send it back over to you. So with just two weeks to go now, still plenty to be decided before January rolls around. But first, a prime time players game balls go out to these men, each helping their team down the stretch. That'll do it, sports fans. I'm Chris Berman, and thanks so much for joining us here in the Bristol studios. We'll see you next week right here on ESPN, the worldwide leader in sports. Wonder Soul. Wonder Soul. Wonder Soul. Wonder Soul. Wonder Soul. Wonder Soul.